Today we're going to talk about the most basic car kit that everybody needs and everybody can put together from items around the house in maybe one hour and cheap. I'm getting this vehicle ready for winter, so in the winter time I add a few items to my vehicle kit that I don't keep normally in the summer, which is some additional blankets and some uh, cold weather clothing. This is all part of a series I'm going to prepare to show you how to get your car ready for emergencies of every kind. Uh, this is going to be kind of a more advanced car kit. Today we're going to talk about the most basic car kit that everybody needs and everybody can put together from items around the house in maybe one hour and cheap. And get this, right over here, we're gonna take this pickup truck and turn it into an epic bug out vehicle. It's gonna be expedition quality by the time we're done with it. So you'll see that too in the months to come. What we're gonna do is an impromptu inspection on Jake's Jeep. But you're gonna see the seven items you've got to have in your car for the most basic car kit. Number one, flat tire change. So you need a spare tire, you need a jack, and you need practice. If your daughter drives this car, then you need to have her come out here and go from beginning to end changing a tire. From dismounting this tire, jacking the thing up, make sure she's got everything she needs in the car and make sure that she knows how to use it. Number two, booster cables, in case your battery goes dead or somebody else. Okay, because remember, when you prepare, you're not just helping yourself, you're helping everybody. So you've got a set of jumper cables in the car, and you might be able to help somebody else. You practice changing your flat tire, you might be able to help somebody else to change theirs. Fire extinguisher. Now this is maybe the one item that you don't have lying around the house, but man, go to the store, spend 20 or 30 bucks, and get one. I'd rather see this one mounted uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, this is going to flop around. He's got the pin taped, which is a good idea, so the pin doesn't accidentally come out. But still, as you're driving around, uh, it's going to roll around and slam around. If he rolls the vehicle, it could get ejected. He'd never find it. It's a better idea to have it mounted. Water. He's got one liter of water. More water is better, but, you know, there's a practical limit to how much you can have in the car but always have some water in the car. So, Jack's under there. I got not what I'm looking for. Here we go. Okay. Next thing I want to see is a first aid kit. Let's see what he got. All right, first aid kit. Your first aid kit might consist of a baggie a Ziploc bag of some kind with uh, some adhesive bandages and some antiseptic wipes. Those are the two items that you've got to have in your kit. The more is better, but at least those two things. Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. Adhesive bandages. Good. Antiseptic wipe. Good. Okay. All right. This is an adequate first aid kit. We talked about water. Get some snacks. So he's got uh, Vienna sausage. And look. If he didn't have a can opener, he'd still be able to open this. Granola bars or similar. Tools. The number one tool that you've got to have is some sort of a multi-tool. A Swiss Army knife is a good option. Swiss Army knife has a blade, has a small blade and a large blade. Can opener with a small flathead screwdriver. Bottle opener with a larger flathead screwdriver. Pair of scissors. Phillips screwdriver. Some other things in there, but basically this is this is good. This is what you need. This is the basic tool that you've got to have in your toolkit. And then everything else is optional when it comes to a basic kit. He's got a folding utility knife. He's got a hooded poncho. Reversible Phillips and flathead. That's a number two Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. Lighter, excellent tool to have. Don't fail to put your kit together just because you don't have paracord. If you do have it, grab some and throw it in your 
tool kit. So here are the seven things you must have in your basic car kit, spare tire kit. With the jack, do a dry run, make sure it works. Number two, fire extinguisher, water, snacks, jumper cables, a tool kit, and a first aid kit. Okay, be sure and check out the blog for additional details and discussion about this. Feel free to leave a comment. I hope you enjoy the video. First, go get this basic kit ready while I get to work on the next video. See you at the blog.